Hello all, welcome to the final chapter of our spooky saga. Let's jump right in with some gray. We're gonna be also using a dark blue. Remember your colors don't have to match mine exactly. Um, a dark purple. And we are also going to be using, of course, white and black. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be a really simple uh, tutorial to kind of tie in all of the stuff that we've learned the past couple of weeks with background work. And also going to throw in some orange because that's the color that I painted my house. You don't have to use these colors. Um, it's just what I used for the base paint for my home. Remember, we are going to be doing Bob's house. Um, and I'm going to teach you how to do the background first. And then we're going to kind of... Uh, color in or I guess draw in the house. I'm gonna be mixing a little bit of that gray with that blue down here. Um, it The gray does have a couple of like yellow tints so this did come off a little bit greenish um, like with a green hue. Um, this color you can make with just regular blue and gray, a little bit of black, a little bit of white until you get the color that you are happy with. Remember they don't have to match my exact colors because I know that not everybody paints with the same brands of paint. Um, so just try your best, you know, we're going to, uh, kind of blend this up into the top and we're going to be using the same technique where I did not rinse my brush off. I am using the same color from the bottom and I just added a little bit of that dark blue, um, dipped in with some purple up here towards the top so that we can just create that nice blend and gradient down to the bottom. Um, I am not rinsing off my brush. I'm just tapping off the excess. I'm gonna go in with some dark purple and some black, just a smidge of it. You don't want a lot because you don't want to like completely darken it up, but that is gonna be your night sky. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Just blend um, everything that we learned in the first, the, actually it was the second week with Wisp. We learned that with Wisp. And now we're gonna do a little bit of moon work that we learned with Hoot. Um, so grab something to go ahead and give yourself a circle, like a little circle guide. Um, I grabbed this little medicine looking cup and that's going to be where my moon is. You want to look at the shape of your rock and kind of go, um, give yourself some space. You know, if you want a smaller moon, uh, to give yourself more room for your house, go ahead and do that. Um, kind of, you know, plan ahead to where your house is going to be it's going to take up most of the rocks since that is the main subject um i'm just filling in some white here this is going to be i don't remember if i did one or two layers of the white but um i most likely did two because painting white over a dark background usually requires two um so i'm gonna grab you know my rock look at it give myself a guide uh gonna kind of sketch in a little bit of an oval shape just so that i don't go past the top line of my oval shape um and you don't want to make it out too wide either because you do want to leave a little bit of room for the trees and where you're going to put your broom at um i'm going to start down here just going to draw two lines they are not straight up they are curved a little bit outwards like this and i'm going to draw in my roof uh, i'm going to curve the top the ends of it up a little bit and it's going to be kind of like a little pentagon shape is this a pencil? I'm forgetting what my shapes are. Um, I'm going to fill it in with some black Posca. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want you guys to be able to see my actual uh, sketch and not have to squint because you couldn't see it with a pencil mark. So I'm going to fill it in with some black Posca. Um, it's just an acrylic paint pen. From here, let's go ahead and kind of draw a diagonal line going down from that left hand corner of the roof draw a little whimsical looking triangle remember they don't have to be perfect shapes this is a haunted house it's a little bit wonky um we want it to be fun we want it to be um you know a little bit whimsical a little bit spooky because it's bob and bob has just a fun house you know it's not perfectly straight up the shapes are not perfect and we're gonna kind of guide yourself from this line over i guess let's just use the corner of the house and bring down that second um little side of his house i don't know whose bedroom that is maybe it's the broom closet we don't know um, let's go ahead and fill that in with some black Posca. And this is a really simple design. I do want you guys to keep an open mind when you're creating your house. Remember, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine color wise. You can make it pink. You can make it blue. You can make it, um, orange, green, rainbow color if you want. 
Um, it does not have to match the exact colors that I used, but we do want the same whimsical design. Uh, the roof is going to be slanted a little bit upwards because we're shooting for the stars here. It's a different kind of um, house, you know, a little bit fun to play with. And let's fill that in. Let's go also and add in some top little notches here, kind of like some little roof shingles. Um, just a, you know, half circle design. I'm going to add a little circle up here at the top and another one here at the top. And now that we are done with this, let's also add in some windows. Let's go up here to the top, a little oval shaped, um, flat on the bottom. You could do a circular window. Uh, make sure that you just add in some windows and so a door because he obviously has to get in and get out and um, Just really basic basic shapes You can add as many windows as you want. You can add uh, Two windows per siding of the house. You can add one um, It's really up to you. You can um, You know customize that portion of it My Posca is running out of ink here. So now that we're done with this, I am going to also be adding in some um, background work and finishing up this moon over here so that um, it doesn't look incomplete. That's the second coat of the white. Remember that my paint is currently wet right now. And going in off of the previous tutorial, I've lifted up some paint here, but that's okay. I'm just going to dab it in. Um, I'm going to tap a little bit of black in and the shadow is going to be on the left side of the moon this time because I am looking down at the house that's to my bottom right. And let's just go ahead and tap in some craters, um, tap in some texture, some shading on that moon. Um, if you guys haven't seen the previous tutorials for the other three chapters, go ahead and check those out. Um, it's been a really fun spooky saga. Stay tuned because we might be doing a Christmas Chronicles. Um, you heard it here first. <laughs> so Christmas Chronicles coming up. Um, and I hope that you guys took away something also from this. If you guys did take away something from this, um, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know because I really appreciate the feedback. I love, you guys know that I love to do this. I love to help others grow in their art. Um, if I've helped you in any way, just let me know. It makes my day and, um, it makes this all worthwhile. So I'm going to be adding in some trees. Um, I did have somebody last time tell me that the tree branches were a little bit too fat and I'm here to tell you that that's okay. All trees are different. All trees are created unequally. Um, you are going to have some thin trees. You're going to have some thick trees and that's okay. They don't have to be perfect. They're, they're dead. <laughs> they are. They are dead. It's the fall time. They don't care about their branches right now. They don't care about their leaves. Um, they will be born again in the spring, and that's the beauty of um, seasons. So after this, I did go ahead and start to work on my actual house. Um, I did speed up that, that process of it. Actually, I'm lying. I dotted in a couple of stars here <laughs> with a dotting tool. But you can use a, um, a dotting tool, a toothpick, the end of your pencil, the end of a brush. And this is the basic layout. This is this is the tutorial. Um, this next part is going to be me filling in my colors. I did do some foiling. I did um, foiling on the house and on the roof. I did uh, go ahead and do watercolor inside of the windows so that it brightened it up and it makes it kind of glow. I added some rhinestones. I added some of these nail stickers. Uh, well, just one. I added one nail sticker to the door. Um that Wanda has in her shop and some glitter cranberry wick dripping down. Give it a little bit of a spooky feel. And yeah. Okay, so here's my finished rock. I did use cranberry whip. I used some rhinestones. I used the blue hollow whip. I used several foils. I used the Halloween yellow. I did add in a little broom. <laughs> my son has a booger okay guys here's our finished house don't forget to add in the broom you can have it hanging out of the tree out of a window flying across the moon have fun with it add your broom in somewhere in there and i cannot wait to see what you guys come up with